I think we should start with the idea of not having any adults in, because it was your idea, and I thought it was such a good one. That's what I remember. Well, we and had. I always a... think it's good to go with the best idea, and I thought that was the best idea. Well, we had a meeting, didn't we, about whether or not, because you started at Dance Umbrella kind of at the time when I started here. Roughly, yeah. And we decided so. we thought we'd like to do something together. Yeah. And then we were talking about what it might be, and then I think related to something else, I said, I think it'd be yes, really it exciting to do shows that adults are banned from. Yeah, I just really liked it, I suppose, because there's so much. Um, there's so much that's done where there's age restrictions upwards and I yes. just liked flipping it including the fact that there's going to be things for adults in the foyer made by children I just thought that was a, I don't know it's just a nice way of looking at it differently and especially because the programme is made it's made for the children that are coming I, I you know I remember us saying it's like it should be as good as any adult would want to go and see but actually it, you can only see it as a child well there is a well, we've family talked a lot, anatomy, but we've but talked a lot before, things. haven't we, about how we don't really like thinking of work for children as preparation for mm. what those people are going to watch when they're adults. You know, we're not yeah. sort of training audiences for, no, it's for not other a venues. Term marketing plan. And so I think we thought if you follow that to its logical conclusion and you say it's all about the thing that's happening in the room between the audience and the performers, and the audience happen to be children. Yeah then it follows that actually maybe the best way to achieve that purely is to remove all the adults completely so that but I think adults it makes can't have differently. a... Yeah. I think it's like, I'm, I know I, it's funny, having done, having put on what I've talked about for so long, it's like, it's very different in a schools group than it, it, with a family mm -hmm. group. Yeah. So the thought of having children that were neither, it's not, it's not, they're not with their family, and then, but they, they don't know the other children. They're just an audience. Yeah, then I just thought it was interesting about how they will watch and how they'll react. And um, yeah, it seemed quite an intriguing way to go about it. It's such a welcoming theatre here. I think it's a really welcoming space. You know it's a theatre for children, so I'm, I'm sure that your audiences will trust coming here. I hope with the names that are on the bill that the dance audience that might know how incredible those names are would come, the children, their children would come because of the names. And for you, I hope they would come because it's in your theatre and it's um, something new to do a triple mm. bill like that. I remember you say we wanted to call it triple bill because you didn't know what that was. You don't yeah, it because we don't say triple bill in theatre. <laughs> and so actually for I us, like a thing called triple bill in a theatre programme makes it sound like it's done. Which is another reason why it's nice to do it, because it's nice for us to come into a theatre world. I, I hadn't even crossed my mind you wouldn't do triple bills in theatres. Of course you don't do triple bills in theatres, you know. No, we do Ibsen. <laughs> Yeah, Will you, nice why did you, people. tell us about how you chose the first, um, the people in the programme? Oh, well, it was mainly, I wanted to have really different things on. I, I feel like if children go to dance at all, they go to ballet. So I just wanted to do a contemporary bill that had different things in it. And I suppose I wanted to pick the people who do that really well in their form. So Wayne's company, Random, is so... It's very technical, but it's not ballet, and it's really, it's just very inventive and quite strange how they move. Um, so they're just extraordinary bodies, how they, how they move, how they train, how he makes work with them. It's another world, and so it's interesting because it's, it's not about beauty, but it is about rigour. And so that's a, that I, I think it's really fabulous to have, and a, a group piece to have that on stage. Mm. And the hip hop duet are just, they're among the best. They've been travelled, they've, they've been in Britain Convention, etc. as well. So they've been in New York, they've won a big award there recently. They're touring all, literally all over the world, and it's a little 50 minute version um, of their piece. And I, it, that's also world class. So that's like, it's kind of the best mixed bill I could think of. And then Hege came through your I saw Hege show in January, yeah, and I thought it was just, uh, I thought it was really cool. But it's very. I like them. Love them. Very contemplative it. and mellow, yeah. and the set's beautiful. And as a contrast with the dynamism of the hip hop and the rigor of, of random, that it's I a nice bit. I can't wait. Now I just want to do it and see. But you can't see comes. it because you're. <laughs> so we can, we I, do well, we're going to. No, we no. We'll come to the family matinee. We can come, and then maybe we've got to set up a remote camera and watch remotely. Otherwise, we might. We might. 
screwing ourselves quietly away and watch backwards through a mirror, something like that. Maybe we could try it like that. I'm in a lot of trouble from people who want to see it. But I can't do it. There's no one else. Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That, exactly. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Good.